Yo, what is up guys, it is Samsung, I am bringing you a brand new video. Now today's video is actually a tutorial, so I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro using Panzoid. So first off, you want to head over to your browser, so that can be Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever you want. So let's head over there now. Alright, now in your search bar, you want to search up Panzoid, so P-A-N-Z-O-I-D. So you can either go to panzoid.com or just go straight onto Google and click the first link shown as shown on screen here. Now there are a whole bunch of preloaded intros on here, so I'm going to scroll through some and let's find one that I like. Alright, that's enough scrolling, so I've looked through some, and let's just click on a random one, so let's go for, yeah, let's go for this one down here, why not? So now, pretty much what's going to happen is, as soon as you click onto it, you just want to go open in Clip Maker. Now, once you go open in Clip Maker, it'll start loading, you're going to wait for it to load, click the eye icon at the bottom of the screen, then press play to view it. So you want to always view it first. Alright, so a pretty good one, I actually like how that looks. So what you want to do is move this bar over to where you can see the name properly. So, uh, round about here. Now you're going to go to the menu in the top left, which are the three little lines. And you're going to go to objects. So once you click into menu, go down to objects. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to find something that says text. So as you can see, it says text here. And now you want to go through and change it. Now this one only accommodates four letters, but we will find another intro straight after this that has all the letters, that like as much letters as you want. So I'm just going to change this to the template game, just for now as an example. Alright, so now I've changed the text, bring it to the start, press the I icon, and then press play. Alright, so it's as simple as that. So now we're going to go look for another one. So go back to project and find another one here. It suggests you some, so it pretty much gives you some options. You click more creations and leave the page. So now we're going to scroll through some and click on this one and go open in clip maker. Now from here what you want to do is view it again just to make sure you like it. So eye icon then play. Check this. Alright, so this one's quite cool. So what you're going to do is go back to Menu, Objects. Now from here, as you can see, it says you can actually put your whole username. So I'm going to put in my whole channel name, Samsung I Am. You're going to do that for all the text options they give you. So I'll go to the first one, second one, third one, and there's another fourth one down here. So you just want to check through, make sure you've got all of them. And now let's check it out. So you're going to press I icon, and you're going to press play to check out how it looks. Check this Alright, so looking pretty good. I quite like how that looks as well. So now you bring it back to the start, go to menu, then download. So there's an option called download. Now you want to have it on good quality, so not balanced, good quality. And you want to have it on MKV, which is the default setting. So you want to put it into MKV, and let's start rendering the video. I'll be back when it's done. Alright, now from here you want to press download your video and it should pop up at the bottom of your screen. Now it might bring you into a different tab like this, if it does that you just close it and then redo it. So now in the Google search bar you just want to search up video converter and click on the first website there, the one that says online video converter. Yep. Now once you click onto this it'll give you three options. So from here you want to click the middle option, convert a video file. Alright, so now from here you just want to go select file and you want to find the video. So mine's called video 8 here. Now once you find it, it'll just load it into there and you'll just have to wait for the download. This download takes about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll be right back. 
Alright, so I'm back, so the video conversion is almost finished. So now it should give you an option in a moment, so it'll tell you like what do you want to convert into. So from here, I want to convert it into MP4 files. So you want to click to the top where it says uh, select the format, and you'll click MP4. Alright, so now I've clicked MP4, what you're going to do is press start. So as soon as you press start, it'll start doing the download for you. Alright, so the reason that you're actually converting this into an MP4 file is that you can put into YouTube videos, upload it to YouTube, and you can put into editing softwares and stuff like that. Otherwise, the MKV file doesn't actually go into it, so that's the whole reason for this. Now you want to just go to the file that you've just finished downloading and you want to right click and go show in folder and that's where you can find it. And there we go. Alright so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you want more videos like this please comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and bell notifications for more uploads. And I'll catch you guys later. Set my heart afire.